Greetings, welcome back to Hitman Blood Money. Today, back to Pro, and we'll be doing a new life. Please enjoy the cutscene. Getting a clearer picture? No. You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. May 15, 2004. <laughs> Self-opening laptop. If only, if only. Push button, folds up for you. We're sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny I always Sinistra. loved his name. He's in a witness protection Yes, 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 yes. Vinny Kill Vinny Sinistra. Get a hold of some microphone. Sorry. Get a hold of some microfilm, and you're box. done. Just... No problem. Kill him, get the microfilm. That's it. Taking out Vinny here is not the hardest thing to do. This actually, I'm surprised, is not the first level. I think this one and Vintage here switched places, but... Long story short, Vinny is being protected by the Fed because he's a bit of a snitch. Sold out the mob and they want him dealt with, pure and simple. Now, the FBI is camped in that van right there, across the street. Now I grab the donuts here so I can sedate them and take the FBI out. At least the one in the van. Because we all know cops love donuts. Like any stereotypical police flick you've seen ever. I'll put him down, knock on the door. He'll come out and get his donuts. And from there on, it's clockwork. They'll eat the donuts and pass out. I'll break in there, steal their suits, take their guns, and steal the videotape to the security cameras on Vinny's house. The next thing I'll do is I'll go across the street to the pet clinic, break in there, and uh, promptly steal a bottle of ether, which I can use to date another FBI man later. I'll then go to Vinny's house, and I'll proceed to his basement. In his basement, I'll find a bottle of lighter fluid. I'll then proceed to Vinny's backyard, where I'll put the, the lighter fluid I stole from the basement to good use as I rig his barbecue grill. I can do this openly and they won't bat an eye. Now the microfilm, as mentioned in the briefing which I did skip through, is in a piece of jewelry on Vinny's wife. It's around her neck. I'll then simply wait for his wife to walk outside on the patio and make her way to the barbecue grill. She'll approach the grill and play with it, but since it's rigged, she'll go up with a fireball. She'll run around like a duck for a bit, and then fall into the pool. I'll simply approach the body, steal the microfilm, and then run out like nothing was ever occurred. I'll then head upstairs. My next task is to get access to Vinny without his handlers being in the way. So I'll then ether a pair of undergarments in his daughter's bedroom or whatnot, and wait for a somewhat perverted FBI man to come in, and he'll start uh, sniffing at the undergarments. Unfortunately, it's not just what he thinks it is. It's now doped up with ether. He'll pass out, 
Now simply just then drag him to the closet. That's a simple matter of just going after Vinny. He'll show up in his bedroom shortly. So I'll go in there and wait for him to show up. Here he comes. Strangle him to death. I'll then go grab his FBI handler so he doesn't find the body. As soon as he turns around, he's mine. With him sedated, he'll not find Vinny's corpse. This gives me ample opportunity to get my suit back and be done with the level. Because only two people go into Vinny's room. His handler and Vinny himself. They have no idea what happened, they're none the wiser to it. Just like that, silent frickin' assassin. And even though the jogger at the end may have saw something, he never got to report it, so it doesn't count against me. But there you go. Killing off Vinny is actually pretty easy. Getting away with it on maximum difficulty at top marks is also pretty simple. It's kind of like clockwork. You just simply go through the motions, and he's done for. Odds are you're not watching this channel because you want to see it come out like clockwork. So, we're going to throw Silent Assassin out the window. Now, we're going to take Vinny out a little more artistically. Still starts with getting uh, the FBI out with the donuts, because I need to break in there and steal the videotape and their guns. Full disclosure, we're actually FBI. Yeah, that's nice. Hope you enjoy those donuts. I mean, you can trust me. <laughs> I am so trustworthy. Need your videotape. Oh, I'll take your suit might as well. Where's your guns? There we go. Alright. Oh, look, back into the skies. One thing I want to get out of Vinny's house before this goes anywhere else. A kitchen knife. One of the best weapons in the game. Let's hide that somewhere. Where I can come get it later. The new vice president was sworn in at a Rose Garden Catering box. Good place to hide weapons. As long as the uh, caterer doesn't see me placing anywhere. Perfect. I'm going to place the knife in there. Alright. We're almost prepped. I just need to get the right disguise for this particular operation. Actually, it might not hurt to go get the microfilm first, too. Let's get that out of the way. Which, as you saw before, requires a little bit of this. Placed on the barbecue grill to go toast the wife. Nothing new here. Thanks for opening the door. Grill is prepped. Wait for her to walk over. As before. But 
There are other ways to get the microfilm off of uh, the lady without having to torture, but um, I personally prefer this approach being at least troublesome. Alternatively, I can steal the clothes off the pool cleaner, who's back there in the red and white, and follow her up to her bedroom. But she walks like a frickin' cripple, unless she's on fire, and even when she's on fire, she's not walking too well, but... Convenience is my primary driver. Thanks. Okay, now for my disguise of choice. Just go get him. So he's by his car. Not yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. No, he's not here yet. Oh, well. Pity. No problem. In the meantime, I'll get rid of a couple garbage men. Police. I can openly carry guns. Don't, don't hurt Good night. I, didn't do anything. I know you didn't, but it's not you I'm after. Do not worry, good citizen. I'm just testing your garbage truck. It may not work on garbage, but it works on other things. My idea of garbage. Good night. I think that might have a more of an effect than I thought it would. Oh, good gracious. <laughs> ah, yes, a jogger. Another perfect tester for the trash bin. Hello, sir! Another gorgeous day in paradise, huh, friend? Yes, yes it is. Sunny, sunny California. Wonderful place to be. I mean, it's not like there's any suspicious characters running around with guns, knocking people out, and throwing them in rolling dumpsters of doom. Bad blood, California. Well, I just don't want to be the guy who has to empty the truck later. <laughs> That'd be a little hard to explain. Oh, Cloud's not here yet. Dreadfully slow fellow he is. Eh, hey, come on. Where are you at? I'll have the other garbage man in the trash by the time you get out here. Oh. Well, well, well. He's coming out and the other trash man's gonna see me do this. Oh well, tough crap. Guess this is gonna play out the way it plays out. Wait a minute, that license plate's also bad blood. They all say bad blood? Goodness is, as a policeman, I can carry a gun openly and not have anyone ask me questions. Hello, sir, hello! I'm just a cop. He's gonna kill me. Shut up. Alright. No one's looking. Take his suit. Put him in the car. Good night, uh, Corky the Clown. I'm the new Corky. Now I need to get rid of my gun. Because if I go to the front door of Vinny's house, you'll find those men have a desire to frisk me. And if they frisk me and find a gun... Well, I don't remember if I can surrender it to him or not. We'll just uh, hide it here in this box that the agency's given me. And make my way back to the house. I should be totally unarmed now outside the standard Hitman package. Syringes, fiber wire, that sort of thing. But they'll frisk me and I'm totally safe now. Hello, gentlemen! Over here, please, and stand still. Alright, go ahead. Uh, I'm clean. Thanks. You're all set. Thank you, sir. Glad to hear it. I've got entertaining to do. It's a very busy job. Treat my knife. Okay. All I gotta do is 
wait, get my victim. So we stay in the hallway, though. Up oh, here he comes. Better get out of the way. Act like I'm going to the uh, backyard. Hello, sir. I'm. I'm a Hi, I'm Chuckles. We're gonna wait for you to sit back down in your room. Actually, another goodie we can do. <laughs> I just remembered this. Because he's got a handler that runs around all with him. I don't like handlers. I'll just carry this box over there and we'll have a little bit of fun. What's going on? It's a box. I don't think you should hey, be here. You got no business here. Oh, sorry. I'll be gone. I beg your pardon, sir. I beg your pardon. Well, so much for needing the knife. <laughs> okay, I'll be going. Um, uh, all right, I'll accept that one. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh well, I was hoping to use the knife, but that work. Well, that's bad news for you. I don't need the knife anymore. And I missed. <laughs> Lucky him. Not the best dart player either. Hmm. Hoodlum. Hoodlum? Let's see. One witness. Yeah, the guy I threw the knife at and tried to play darts with. Fine. What are you going to tell? Violence. Whatever. Hoodlum kills again. Well... I'm going to let that one conclude this episode of a Hitman Blood Money. I believe the next episode is a fun little episode called Murder of Crows, where you get to play Counter Assassin slash Assassin at, I think, a Mardi Gras parade. So, until then, I've been Cloak. Thank you for watching.